Hello everyone, Lance Abolito here in Riverwalk, Tampa, Florida, overlooking the water. It's beautiful. And we have to talk about the crypto and the SPAC crash. Oh, look, vision. Hmm. <laughs> so this morning, Bitcoin is under 30,000. Ethereum, or Ethereum, however you say it, under uh, 1800, I think around 1700, and the Dodge coin or the Doji coin under 18. So I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. If you've been following me for, I don't know, the past year plus, you know I don't get involved in crypto, and you know I don't touch the spats. Uh, the Shamoth bag holder, he left everyone with SoFi, IPO, E A B D C. Uh, DM space clove oh, guys if you're a back holder in these stocks do I feel bad for you absolutely not because I told you so I think what is happening is if you look at cryptos especially month over month trading volumes are down 30% if you look at the SPACs I mean like uh, uh, these names uh, that have came public they have just gotten sold off. Even if they merged with the company, they just got sold off. Or if you look at the meme stocks, uh, like Wish, Clove, I guess Clove was the SPAC, and the uh, Rocket, they can't even move these stocks anymore. When you see weekly call options, they go up for like five minutes and straight down. So that whole trade, if you wanna call it that, or I should say casino lotto ticket, it is over. Now, do I think there will be a dip in Bitcoin? Probably. You know, will we see Bitcoin probably 32 to 33,000 again? Sure. So what's that, about a 10% pop? Because historically, every time we get one of these flushes, we have a nice move to the upside in the crypto market. But I personally just think it's over. Yeah. People are wanting to trade, you know, big tech again. They want to trade uh, names that are safe especially with big tech starting to report earnings and you had a lot of the spec uh speculators in the market well they're gone so what do you do if you're holding on to these cryptos or spacs you hope and pray to the trading gods you get a pop where you can get out i think uh hopefully you learned a lesson hopefully it didn't cost you too much money you learned it earlier in career so we say it's better to lose 10, 20,000 starting off than to lose 100, 200,000, you know, when you really get into things or when you have a larger account. And focus on, in my opinion, institutional order flow, focus on trading options, limited risk strategies, uh, or if you're looking for income, selling options, you know, selling a, a premium as we call it. And we have many videos uh, uh, on that, many videos that I do on the YouTube and on the future of wealth on trading because the markets are a beautiful thing you just have to know what stocks to trade and more importantly how to trade them with proper risk management so like subscribe leave a comment turn on that uh, bell for notifications and hit the thumbs up i'll catch you on the next video